It's holiday season, so you know what that means. Yippee-ki-yay, mother... Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to give you our top bourbons and ryes. Eight of them to be exact. For the holiday season. So, a couple things. First off, whenever you have hateful comments at the very end of this video, because you're going to watch to the very end, because there's going to be a bottle that your boy Dave over here picked that, honestly, I kind of love that he picked it. because I picked it, and I'm drinking it. Exactly. It's a great bottle. But these bottles we picked for this year's, you know, that we think are really great seasonal bottles. Yeah. Either as gifts or just to drink on your own. So, and at the very end, we both picked a little bit of an allocated bottle. A little bit. So we'll I'll, see how it goes. I'll start. You gonna start? Oh yeah. Right. So Sounds and good. also, of course, you know we're gonna separate this. Me doing rise, him doing bourbons, because you know. Slowly going to the rye side. You and the chosen one. Since day one, he's been going to the rye side, and it's slow. Slow. All right. It is slow. Been around whiskey tube. You all already know Sagamore Spirits Cast Strength. It is my newfound love in all of whiskey this year. I have been crushing on these bottles all year long. I normally keep uh, one by, back there. By the way, I think he's going to say that about at least two of the rides that he has sitting over. This one and another one is going to be his newfound love. And we'll just go from there. I love you. I love you. I love you. It's not wrong. Yeah. Been crushing these bottles. I have a couple upstairs that are open. I accidentally opened up one the other day and I had one open. Totally forgot all about it. But it is rye season now with it being colder outside. And, guys, I'm telling you. If you Unless you live in another state like Arizona. Then it's just warm all the time. So. Or Hawaii. But if you don't know, you need to find out. You need to get one of these bottles. They're fantastic. Yeah. I prefer this over the Double Oak. I might be in the minority on this, but Sagamore. Yeah, Sagamore is always good. Uh, just another good end of the year bourbon to be drinking on is the four roses single barrel nothing special about it it's just a really good drinker no it's special yeah i think it's special i think it's great for a shelfer uh, uh, yes but it's a shelfer so i mean it's like special uh, what i'm saying you're not saying like, like not allocated yeah, yeah yeah so yeah this is this is really good four roses you know th they just do do it right with this this one this one's good straight up mix whatever you want to do with it um, they just very fine and it's a and it's a, at a good price like you're it's not gonna break the bank this is like 35 40 bucks so mm -hmm. it's a really good really good drinker so my next one we i don't know if we've ever talked about this on the channel oh pepper distillery a little bit of a rye action here so these i've been starting to get into uh had a buddy of mine pour me a sample of it and i was like Man, did you just pour me a Willet? And he's like, no, it's old pepper. I was like, ooh. Ooh. ooh okay, I see what you're doing there. Um, so I've been starting to get into these a little bit. So this is totally brand new to me. Very nice. Very easy to sip on. It actually, I think, drinks up a little bit higher than the proof point on it. Yeah, what is the proof? And uh, that one is... 108? Yeah, okay. I was going to say 106, so 108. Not bad. Just a really nice proof entry. It's nice traditional, but at the same time, it's not super rye forward to where I think it's an easy drinker. Cool, cool. Uh, this next one, this one uh, is uh, one that we uh, talked about earlier. The Frank August was very surprised by how good it's this delicious. is. It's delicious. It's good. So if you can get your hands fantastic. on this, I would get my hands on it because it's good. What I don't even know the price point with this. What was this? Because you bought this. Uh, was it was like 65, 65, 70 Yeah. Something. So, yeah. Uh, I, for a craft, like probably top three favorite new bottle all year. And again, judge something by the cork. Oh uh, yeah, like this cork is money. Uh, did you hear that? The weight of that? Boom! I'm pretty sure if yeah. you chuck that at somebody, it's gonna get me. And for some reason, I always want to say Frank Ocean on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just gonna start playing the song. <laughs> Frank August. Take that back. Don't yeah. want that copyright. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, Frank Ogg is like, if you can find this and pick this up, this is a really good so pour. Alright guys, probably, Dave's right, probably my favorite ride <laughs> of the year. Probably. I, I'll just need to personally blind them just to figure that out. This Got, one's going to blind really well. Uh, Yeah, no kidding. Hard truth, guys. This little small distillery up in Indiana, Brown County, Indiana? Brown County. 
Guys, I'm telling you, dude, it crushes. This is, I think this is batch one. I think they're on either batch two or, no, I'm sorry, this is batch two. I drank all in batch one. Uh, <laughs> I think they're on either batch three or batch four now. Yeah. And guys, it is incredible. Yeah, it's one of the work. best rice out there on the market that you can find on the shelf every single day. It's sweet. It's very, it's, again, it's a cheater kind of rye. Like, if I'm being honest with you, it's not very, like, minty and stuff like that forward. You know, even Dave likes it. Yeah, I do like that. So. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the next on my list is a Russell's single barrel. Uh, this one is a, you know, store pick. Like, just find a single barrel. It needs to be in your repertoire. It's such a good uh, drinker. Really, any time of the year, but this is, I feel like it's it's got a, it's kind of full bodied to me. And that's what makes a good holiday bourbon sure. is like the sure. body on it really stays with you after you drink it so uh these are always good for that I, I don't care any of them i've had i've had just like total wines i've had silver dollars mm. i've had just i've had kroger like all of them yeah they all kind of still have that same profile where they stay with you and kind of just they just have some girth to them well <laughs> that's one way of describing it yep it's holiday season you need a little turkey product yeah. At the end of the day, you need a little bit of turkey product Always in there. Always a turkey product. And these single barrels went away for a while, at least for us. I don't know if they went away for everybody. Leave in the comments below. If, <laughs> they if came back guys, more expensive. They, I, I was going to say, they did come back more expensive. But everyone I've had they're since good. they've kind of came back, they're phenomenal. Yeah, they're good. So I got to give them credit. For sure. All right, so this is up my last spot on the list. So we always try to throw a little bit of allocation in there yeah. just to kind of spice yeah. it up a little bit. Your allocation is so good. This is my probably my favorite rye. The this is your favorite mm -hmm. rye. Nice. So this is Redwood Empire. This is their bottle and bond. Now this is the last year's release, but I have had this year's release that's coming out right now, and it's really really good. I think actually I prefer that a little bit more. Oh, well, I can't wait to release. try it. Yeah, but no kidding. It's hard to find. Yeah, the rocket. Us. It it is very very hard to find the rocket top. It is. Oof, man, it is so good. I also think it is findable. Um, yes, it is kind of hard to find. I think I found it at like a random liquor store. I didn't find it in any like the big, quote unquote, big box stores last yeah. year. Um, but it is somewhat findable and it's really good. It is. Red, what Redwood oh. Empire is doing, man, I cannot wait to see what they're doing three to four years down the road because mm. they are just doing yeah, some killing. phenomenal stuff. Big fans. Yeah. And then my last bottle, this, uh, this one is probably a little harder to find uh, if you ever are on look uh, lookout for them. I, listen, I've never found one of these, and I've, I've been looking for a long time, uh, <laughs> is the Stag. This is batch 18. I was going to say junior, but this is just a oh, Stag. No more juniors. Fully adult Stag, uh, squatty bottle Stag. Um, it's, a good Not, it's actually what I'm drinking on, like. If you've had stag, you understand how good it is. And yeah, by the way, I'm just saying I, I was drinking mine, trying to be a little bit more humble. Yeah, yeah. I'm drinking his too. So let's, <laughs> yeah. let's just let's just be. Uh, what's new? Yeah, what's new? Uh, you know, stag is just always so good. Even the even the ones that aren't that aren't as good as some of the other ones are still good. Yeah, uh, that's true. and again, they leave you with warmth. They like. This is a good fire and cigar uh, bourbon to be sipping on. If, mm -hmm. you, if you can, if you're lucky enough to find it, pick it up and buy it. Um, this, to be fair, too, if I was on a spur, you know, like splurge on a bottle for the holidays, if I was drinking with other bourbon or whiskey drinkers, this would be a bottle I'd go after. Sure. If you could find this and splurge on it, yeah. But I even if you it. had to go to like a little bit more of an expensive place or whatever, yeah, like, yeah. I'd probably do that. Yeah. So. Let us know in the comments below what we got right, what we got wrong, as we always say. And, until... and what are you, what are you drinking for the holidays? For sure, for sure. All right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. See you.